Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duo Sarm here today, back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the most recent patch that came to Black Desert on April 30th of 2024, going over all the events as well as the major changes that way you don't miss a thing. This week's patch brings a few extensions to a couple of awesome events that were already going on, as well as a few new ones, some tweaks to the game, and yeah, bunch of cool stuff. So quickly before we get into it, if you're new to the channel of the Black Desert or you've been watching videos on the channel and still have not subscribed yet, please consider it. Helps grow my channel, you use update new content, and we both win and... Without further ado, let's get into it and start off with the events like we do every single week. And let's start off with the extended events first. And first up on the extended events, we have the life EXP boost of 50%, along with double mini games for gathering and double moles being extended for another week through May 8th this time. So a little bit further this time, more of these uh, events running out here. Again, awesome if you're into gathering, want to pick up some bonus money, especially with the life skill rework, which I still need to make my video about best ways to take advantage of it. But uh, with that rework right now, absolutely insane money can be made. NA Marketplace is sold out on a lot of the highest value items, which I'll talk about in that video, but uh, yeah, it's pretty nice here if you're trying to make some money through gathering. Along with that, we have a item drop rate hot time, which has been extended as well for another week. So item drop rate up 50% along with crazy EXP bonuses as well, for those of you that are into grinding instead of just life skilling. And then we have two new events here, an alchemy and cooking event. So first things first, on this cooking event, if you log into the game, you have a supreme cooking utensil in your Y menu. Why can't the keyboard? You should see it right here. Supreme Cooking Utensil and Supreme Alchemy Tool. So for the two events that are going on right now, uh, we have both of those items right there for you. The second part of the seven is a five second reduction to cooking time that lasts for five hours. So if you're like me, you've been piling up a bunch of resources to do some cooking. Now is a great time to take advantage of it. Pump those all out and make a ton of cooking right now uh, with all of these. So great life EXP boosting time right now. Now a third event on the cooking side, if you need more milk, you get triple the milk right now from uh, milking cows on your alts or whatever you do to pick those up, so nice little bonus right there. Similar to this cooking event, we also have an alchemy event, which again, same thing, like I said, you got the alchemy tool that I just showed you. Same five hour alchemy buff, which again produces a five second reduction to alchemy time plus some alchemy mastery, just like the cooking buff. So two really, really good events if you're trying to power level cooking or uh, the alchemy life skill, so really, really nice there. And then that's it for new events as well as extended events. We can then get into the patch notes themselves. And this week's patch brings a couple of cool little things. Nothing too crazy, but a couple of cool little things. First things first, we have more notes that you can add to your songs. So you can now add 10,000 notes per each of your songs that you make, which lets you make longer, longer songs. For those of you that use the gear tag function that allows you to copy your item pieces over onto your other characters, if you use the extraction or the enhancement function using something like a Garbot's Heart, uh, that will now carry over to the new piece. So previously, if you extracted, it would destroy the piece on the tag character. Now it'll just remove the piece on the tag character as well. Same thing if you add it, both characters will now have it on the tag gear as well. For newer players that are now playing through the story for the first time, you will get a crossroad after completing the Midia line that allows you to either continue into the Valencia story or move into the Magnus story. So uh, pretty useful. It should give you a little bit more information, hopefully, to tell you to take the Magnus one to unlock fast traveling and everything. Um, but it's now a crossroads that will direct you into the right direction with that. We then have some information about knowledge items that have been removed from the game due to the consolidation of all the different items that have been going on over the last few patches. So, so some recipe changes as well as knowledge removal from that. It's so like all the different like fruits that you could get before those have been removed from the knowledge menu. An interesting one for those of you that love the old menu. So if you don't know what the old menu is, escape key on the keyboard old menu right here on the uh, section here. For those of you that love using this old menu, it was supposed to be getting discontinued. Uh, they now are not going to discontinue it, so you will be able to continue to use this. So you guys you guys did it. You get to keep your old menu. And if you accidentally switch it over to this, you can swap back to the new menu by clicking the new menu button down at the bottom. But other than that, guys, that is pretty much it for this patch. So again, pretty, pretty light content-wise. We got a couple of cool events, extension of a couple life skilling events. So all in all, solid for those of you that are life skilling. Um, like me, so I'm a big fan of it. Look forward to doing it on this weekend's live stream. Again, I have to make some videos. I've been sick again for like the last three months, but I'm finally fully back to full health. I think I sound perfectly fine in this video. So yeah, we're gonna start pumping out some videos now. It's been like three months. I'm sorry that it's just been limited content, just putting out the patch notes videos. I'm good. I'm good. Knock on wood. I hopefully uh, we'll, we'll be good to continue making videos. So anyway, thank you all so much for your continued support. I look forward to seeing you at the next YouTube video, the next Twitch live stream, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.